Setting up a refer a friend program on your WooCommerce store can be daunting. You may think it's gonna to take too long to set up and you just never set it up. But if you're looking for an easy way to set up a refer a friend program on your WooCommerce store, I would highly recommend checking out Referral Candy. So for example, I wanna set up a give 10, get 10 referral program on my store for Charlie's Coffee Co. So how do I set this up and how do I set this up so it's easy for customers to refer their friends after they complete the checkout or automatically emailing them or even as a chat widget in the bottom right hand corner to easily copy and paste the referral link to share with their friends. So if you're looking for a program that you can set up in under an hour, maybe even 30 minutes, I'm going to go through everything in this tutorial of how to set it up. And in addition, you guys can use my link to get a free trial for 30 days. So with that, let's jump into it. But first, if you're new here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe, and all the links will be found in the description box below. Okay, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna go to simongonnecom slash candy, and I'm gonna sign up for Referral Candy's 30-day free trial. So I'm gonna sign up for this, and I'm just gonna go through um, the sign up process. So I'm using WooCommerce, and this also has integrations with Google Analytics, Clavio, and um, MailChimp, and a few others. So if you wanna integrate those, you definitely can. So I'm gonna enter my store URL, and this is demo.charliescoffeeco.com, and I'm just gonna enter my email, and I'm gonna start my free trial. And I'm gonna enter my name, Awesome, and now I need to add my credit card, but if you just wanna try this out because you don't know if a refer a friend or referral program is gonna work on your WooCommerce store, you can always add your credit card and add an email reminder on your Google Calendar or iCal or whatever you use for your calendar to cancel. So I'm gonna enter my credit card and then we'll jump into it. Awesome, so now I need to quickly confirm my email and I'll do that real quick. Awesome, so my email is verified and now I'm gonna use the rewards right here. So I wanna give advocates, those are people that have already you know, purchased on my store or maybe just fans of my brand, they're called advocates and they're gonna be the people that are referring friends. So my reward's gonna be give 10, get 10. You can use whatever rewards that you wanna do. So I'm gonna do you know, give $10, give advocates $10 for referring friends. And now I need to use um, the coupon generator for WooCommerce to install um, or to bulk generate 500 coupons and paste them right here. So this may seem like a daunting task, it isn't, and I'm gonna go through it step by step. So I'm gonna go to this Charlie's Copy site that I'm using, and I'm gonna go to my dashboard and I'm gonna go to marketing coupons, right? And so I need to bulk generate 500 of these coupons but I also need the coupon generator for WooCommerce. So this is a free coup, or this is a free plugin that I can use um, to bulk generate all these uh, coupons. So I'm gonna quickly install this plugin and I'll also put this link in the description box below if you guys need to reference it. So after activating this plugin, I now can come to marketing coupon generator and I can start bulk generating my coupons. So remember, I want to do a fixed card discount for $10 for my advocates that are referring their friends. And I'm only going to go to usage limits and they can only use it um, one time. So the coupon will only be able to use one time and I'm going to continue to the next step. And usage restriction, I'm not going to have any minimum spend or maximum spend. This is something that you guys could do if you're setting up a, like a different reward structure. But for me, I'm just going to do a fixed card discount for $10. And it's only be available to be used one time because I'm creating 500 total coupons. Awesome. So I'm just going to say advocate coupon as a description just so I can know it. And I'm just going to do 500. Awesome, so it's gonna bulk generate all these coupons, right? And if I go to my coupons tab now, I can see that I have 500 coupons. I didn't have any coupons before, but these are all the coupons that my advocates will be able to use once they refer a friend 
and they make a purchase and they'll, I'll give them $10 as a reward to use in their next purchase. So I'm just gonna export this as a text file and I'm quickly going to open this up and I'm gonna open this up. You may be able to use Excel or something else. So I'm gonna copy all of these and I'm gonna come back to referral candy and I'm gonna paste all these coupons. And I'm gonna click next. Awesome, so then I wanna give referred friends $10 off their first order. So an advocate's gonna refer you know, their friend, it could be their, you know, their brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, you know, parents, whatever it is. Um, $10, so get friends $10. And awesome, so now I'm gonna create a coupon called Welcome 10. So I'm gonna come back to my coupons here and I'm just gonna create a coupon called Welcome 10. This is gonna be a fixed cart coupon for $10. And this is important, so under the usage limits, a user will only be able to use this one time. So if I refer, you know, my brother, you know, uh, to her, to my Charlie's Coffee site and he makes a purchase with Welcome 10, he won't be able to use Welcome 10 as many times as he wants. He will only be able to use it once. So I'm gonna publish this Welcome 10 coupon and I'm gonna come back to Referral Candy and I'm just gonna name this Welcome 10 and I'm not gonna have the coupon expire. So I'm gonna click Next and now I'm ready to activate my referral program. Awesome, so now I need to connect my referral candy with my WooCommerce store. So this can all be set up. So I'm gonna click Connect Store and I need to install the free referral candy for WooCommerce plugin. So I'm gonna come back to my WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, Add New, and install the re referral candy for WooCommerce plugin. This is a free plugin and I also put this in the description box below. Awesome, so I'm just gonna do um, a dual tab split screen so this is easy for you guys to see. But I'm gonna come back to Referral Candy and you guys can see under integration, if I go to plugin version 2.0, I'll go to app access ID, paste it right here, app ID, paste it right there, Secret key, paste it right here. And then I wanna process orders with status processing, not completed. So this is just a demo of what I'm doing, but when an order is um, successful and the payment's made, the order status is processing on WooCommerce. If you're using like shipment tracking and you're updating that to completed um, with, you know, maybe using ShipStation or manually, then you can update it to completed. But a lot of WooCommerce stores keep the order status always at processing. It really depends, but I'm just gonna keep it at processing. And then I'm gonna render the tracking code on the checkout page, because that's the checkout page that I wanna use. And just for this tutorial, um, they add this accepts marketing checkbox on checkout, but I am not gonna enable this. And I also wanna enable this post purchase pop-up, which I can show on the screen right here, will allow customers after they make a purchase to easily you know, get their referral link and share it with their friends. So I'm gonna click Save Changes. And something else that I wanna do real quick is I wanna add the widget to my homepage or to all my pages in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm gonna go to edit referral program and I'm gonna click widgets. So they give me this option to add this code snippet right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm going to go to plugins and I'm gonna use the free code snippets plugin you can see right here. So I'm just gonna click this snippet and I'm gonna add a new snippet. And I'm just gonna name this referral candy, you know, right corner widget. And I'm gonna paste this. And then I'm also gonna paste um, something else right here, this function. And I will add this um, sample function to the YouTube description box or to another thing so you guys can reference it. So right here, I'm just gonna copy and paste this. And awesome, we have this with the closing tags. And let's save changes and activate. Now our program may have to be activated. So I'm gonna quickly activate my referral 
Candy um, program and it cannot find my connection. So let me connect, check the connection. And now this is something that I didn't realize, but I need to make a test purchase to complete the connection. So I'm simply gonna make a test purchase or if you've installed this plugin and there's live orders coming in, that should complete the connection. So I'm gonna quickly make a test purchase in the background so you guys know um, that it's connected. Awesome, and as you guys see with this test purchase that I got this checkout or this post purchase pop-up. So I have this invite link that my customers will easily be able to use after the completing the checkout. So there's a setting right here if you guys um, did a sample checkout um, where if you want, if you're not seeing something, if it's pop-up is breaking the checkout page, you can also click this. So that is just something to keep in mind. Awesome, so now my program is all set up and I can use a sample um, test to have this go. So let me go back to my email and I'll be able to see the referral code, right? So I can take that referral code that I copied on the checkout page and I'm gonna make a test transaction as if someone sent this to another friend. So I'm going to use this um, referral code that I got right there. And as you can see, let's say I refer this to my brother, he can use this coupon for $10. And if he visits my store and goes to the checkout process, so let's say he wants to get medium roast and dark roast or whatever it is, he can go through the checkout process. So let's just say like Joe, whatever, Mauer. Awesome, so then this is just a test site. So I'm gonna add my um, a sample credit card and I also need to apply this coupon code for welcome 10. And as you can see, this coupon code was applied and my friend, cause I'm acting as you know my brother Joe is going to get $10 off his order. Awesome. So now Joe will also see this place so he can get this invite link and you know maybe Joe wants to share it with his other friends as well. So that is just an example of how this could work. And as you guys can see, when I'm back on the main page of my site, I can see this nice little um, get rewarded um, checkbox in the bottom right hand corner. So my friends or anyone that's visiting my site can easily click this get rewarded and they can enter their email and their name so they can share this invite link with anyone they would like to. And if I go back to my referral candy site and I can click the dashboard, and I can already see um, that customers have used my program. And I can also see that I have two new advocates in my referral program, you know, two shares and referred traffic. So I can see all this activity in referral candy about my referral program. This also has this thing for this fraud center. So if someone's using a bunch of different you know, email addresses that have the same name or maybe the same IP address, it can trigger something in the fraud center. And you also can connect Clavio, MailChimp, or just send email invites to a lot of people that you want to that are on your email list or import a CSV. And if I go back to my edit referral program, I can also, you know, set these emails up where, let's go like this, selected, let's just edit this real quick and I can upload my own logo. Awesome. And let's preview this. Awesome, so this is just a simple email that um, my people advocates will get to share the program. So you guys may be wondering when the advocate who referred their friend is going to get that coupon for referring someone that made a purchase. Well, if you come to this edit referral program and you go to um, rewards, you will be able to see that you have this reward settings and you have a purchase review period for two days after friends purchase um, to see what they have or to make sure that it wasn't fraudulent and you can review it to make sure that you know it was actually the right referral. 
So I also can click into this my store purchases and referrals and easily see that um, I'm going to, you know, review this purchase. I'm going to, um, you know, I can also do a lot of things where I can, you know, maybe delete this or review and make sure that it wasn't fraudulent. So it's, it's really nice to be able to do this and kind of see all your advocates referring new customers to Boost Sale and your WooCommerce store. So if you guys got value out of this video, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up. All the links can be found in the description box below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.